Five minutes after 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. You know, I was watching an interview. This is going to sound unrelated to where I want to go with this, but just I guess this is where my brain is taking me. The the, uh, the young lady who's a comedian, funny lady, Amy Schumer, she's got a new movie out called Trainwreck or something, right? I was watching an interview with her, and I guess she's been doing stand-up comedy for 10 years, and, and yet she's considered an overnight sensation because suddenly everybody knows who she is. I'm wondering if that's not true for our next guest. Uh, she has definitely suddenly get, got the attention of a lot of people who are interested in her writing, uh, including a filmmaker, a movie producer, I guess you should say, um, and I guess their company name is called Anonymous Content, and they are the ones who made Being John Malkovich, Winter's Bone, uh, True Detective on HBO. Uh, Mary Kubica, who I just spoke to, but I did not ask her how to pronounce her last name, so I apologize, Mary, if you're if I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, in addition to being a very talented author, it turns out she's also a photographer and an artist, and um, there are two books we want to talk about, The Good Girl and Pretty Baby. Pretty Baby is the one that was sent to us, and uh, if you... Can you imagine you're trying to help somebody out that's destitute and, and literally allowing them to live in your home? Yeah. That, that's got to be a, a tough, tough thing to do, and, and she has taken her skills at writing psychological thrillers and, and taken that premise and made this into an amazing book. Um, so let's talk to her right now. First of all, let's say good morning. Good morning, Mary. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for having me here. Where are you? I'm in Chicago. In Chicago. You sort of have that Wisconsin accent like Robin has. Robin has a Wisconsin. I hear that quite a bit. Are you from Wisconsin, Robin? Yes, I am. Yes, she is. How come? There you are. There you are. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> he drives the bus. Yeah, and I don't always steer very well. Thank you. Uh, so, so Mary, uh, how did I do on your last name? Is it Kubica? Kubica? Yeah, Kubica. You did great. You did fantastic. Yes. Okay. And uh, am I right? Have are you sort of like the the Amy Schumer of of um, thrillers, or are you like somebody who's an overnight success, but you've been doing it for a long time? Well, I ha you know, secretly I have. I mean, I've been writing ever since I was a little girl, you know. But um, when I was writing my, my first novel, which came out last summer, The Good Girl, that was really the first book that I had that ever came together. So even though it was something I worked on for years, this was, of course, my first published novel. And The Good Girl, it took me about five years to write. So it was definitely, you know, behind the scenes, a lot of work. But, um, but everything that's happened over the course of the last year does feel like it, it's come on very quickly. It, it must be amazing. Uh, I was reading some of your biographical information, and it's, it sounds like you uh, were kind of writing this, not telling anybody about it, and then when you tried to pitch it, you didn't exactly get the best reception until somebody suddenly... Tell us that story. Yeah, absolutely. So when I wrote The Good Girl, I, I had been working as a high school history teacher, and I, I stopped working when my daughter was born, and I wanted to stay home and be with her. And it was then that I started working on The Good Girl. You know, I was, I was used to being out in the workforce and things being very busy. So, so now life was quite different for me. I was busy, of course, because I was at home with my infant daughter, but things were quiet in a way that I wasn't used to. And I started working on The Good Girl then, and I, you know, I had huge doubts that this book was ever going to be finished or sold. You know, so I kept it to myself. My husband knew, but I didn't tell other family members. I didn't tell friends. Nobody else knew that. So I was you didn't. You weren't part of like a writers group where, where some writers will got constant feedback as they're working on the chapters. No, I was not. I was not part of a writer's group. I didn't honestly know any writers. I had taken one creative writing course in college, but even that I, I didn't love because, ironically, because I had to share, and I was, I was very shy about my writing, and I didn't want to share. Oh, and, wow. Um, I, was, I have to say I was really plagued by a lot of self-doubt, but regardless, I fell in love with the story and the characters, and little by little I started to realize that there was something special about, about this story I was putting together. And so I spent the next five years writing it, and then it took me two years to find an agent when I, when I had finished writing it. I sent it out, you know, far and wide to pretty much every agent that I could find, and, you know, the, the feedback was 
pretty negative, you know, a lot of rejection. And as it so happens, there was one young woman who was working as an assistant agent at um, one of the, the agencies in New York. And at the time, she said she loved the book, but she didn't have the authority to take it on, and somebody else in her agency decided to pass on The Good Girl. And so two years passed, and I was, I was convinced that this book was never going to get published. And one day, out of the blue, I receive an email from her. And um, in that time, in those two years, she had been promoted from an assistant to an agent herself, and she was actively seeking her own clients. And she remembered the good girl. It had stuck with her for those two years. And so she was inquiring, you know, whether or not it was available, if I had an agent, if I had sold my book. So it was really like a dream come true. You know, I grabbed that wow. right away. In a few months, we had a publishing deal. That's an exciting story. Uh, we, we don't want that story to, to overshadow the story in the book. So we'll be fair to the story as well. Plus, plus we've got another book to talk about that. You know what it's like? It reminds me of like when you watch a Woody Allen interview. Like, he's already two years in the future, because mm-hmm. the, the movie that's out right now, for in any given t- case, is not the one he's working on. He's working on two movies in the future. So you, so we're kind of doing that to you right now. We're talking about a book that's old. you got a newer book you want to talk about. But, but, but we'll talk about both of them. We've got enough time, I think, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, so, well, so then, so then uh, now, in addition to the book being sold, now, I don't know how you feel about it being made into a movie, but it sounds exciting to me. Is, is that, so that, when did that happen? How did that happen? You know, I, I work with a wonderful film agent. He's in Hollywood. And, you know, once, um, once he got his hands on The Good Girl, he was really excited about it, really passionate about it. You know, and he wanted to see if, if he could get it sold, you know, for the movie industry. So he, he started pitching the book to some of his contacts. And sure enough, anonymous content um, options The Good Girl. So that's, that's been really exciting. I, you know, I'm just taking it one day at a time. It's completely a learning experience for me, but I just couldn't be more thrilled. So Anonymous Content is the production company. Paul Green is who you're speaking of, I think. And then you, Absolutely. And then you're in the bio, it says that he said, her book represents the kind of powerful storytelling that Anonymous aspires to produce. That's pretty yeah. cool. That's pretty cool. And, and just kudos to them for actually, you know, thinking outside the box, so to speak, to use a, a cliche. I mean, for looking for something like what you have created. Absolutely. I, I mean, the feedback that I received from Paul and Anonymous Content was just, it was just phenomenal. And, you know, to, for an author, you spend so much time, you know, just with you in this book kind of in solitude. So then to go out and to get this kind of response from Hollywood is, is really kind of beyond my wildest dreams. I love the book. It was such a, a, a great read. And you've got compassion in there. You've got drama. And it really is amazing. Thank you. I do appreciate that. So we're, we're going to take this interview and split it into two parts since we have two books. So we've got about two minutes left in the first half, and we've been talking about the good girl. No? Oh, we don't? We have a 10 20. Oh, this is a short interview? Oh, yes, no. They, they, they couldn't make it long. Oh, before. no. They had to have stick to Well, Mary, you, you are impressive. I am so happy that we got to chat with you. I, I'm sure you're going to be on all the big shows, so thank you for taking your early career and coming on a small show. But remember, that lady remembered you for two years. Remember us when you become big, okay? Yeah. <laughs> C- come on our little show. All right, so so Pretty Baby is the one that we were sent. Give us a thumbnail sketch of the story because we hardly talked about it, really. Yeah, okay, Pretty Baby, it's mostly set in Chicago. It's about a Chicago mother. She has her own 12-year-old daughter. She commutes to work on the train, and one day she's about to board the train when she comes across this, this homeless teenage girl with a baby. And this woman, Heidi, is this kind of person who will do anything for anybody. And she becomes really concerned about this girl and her baby and ends up bringing them into her family's home. And it's then that they start to discover who she is, and of course she has a pretty dark and twisted past. And they see what effect she's going to have on, on her family's life. And I like the trailer, the book trailer that you created for oh, that. Thank you. It's thank excellent. you. My publisher put that together, and it was really captivating. I was really pleased with that. All right. Well, this is this is clearly you, you have really you're the you're the next big something. I, I don't know what, <laughs> but but obviously you've 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 paid your dues, but in private, nobody really knew you were paying them. Uh, right. All right. I have a copy of Pretty Baby. Call me if you want it, and, and you can have it. It's a nice hardcover uh, book, and the rest of us have to go buy it. Mary, do you have a website set up? I do. It's Mary Kubica, K-U-B-I-C-A dot com. Okay, and Robin makes that easy for our listeners. Just go to W-O-C-A dot com. Go to the guest list, and you'll see Mary Kubica's uh, website and information. Thank you, Mary. That was really great. 
Thank you so much. All right, we'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Today, mostly cloudy with a couple of showers and a heavy thunderstorm around, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. Watch for localized flooding. Today's high 85 to 89. Partly